On Sunday, August 26th, a day of action was held by a new feminist organization, Women Organized to Resist and Defend, or WORD. The event took place on Women's Equality Day and the planned eve of the Republican and Democratic National Conventions. Here in New York, Word began their rally outside the offices of Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, protesting sexism in media. The march then headed to Times Square for a speak out on reproductive rights, and then two blocks south to the NYPD and military recruitment stations. At the same time, a topless rally was held in Bryant Park with a march to Times Square. The rally was a statement against cultural standards that discourage New Yorkers from exercising their legal right to bare breasts in public. Again, during the 2012 election coverage, what percentage of those quoted by major media outlets were women? 19% of those quoted were women. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Not the church, not the state. Women must decide their fate. Not the church, not the state. Decision making. I would like women to be able to make their medical decisions based on their needs and their family needs and their doctor's needs. I don't think the government um, or one political party specifically should be making the decisions for everybody. Wherever we work, wherever we go, yes means yes and no means no. Yes means yes and no means no. We are outside of free abortion alternatives. We are outside of free abortion alternatives. Not because we think it's wrong for a woman to choose adoption over abortion. Not because we think it's wrong for a woman to choose adoption over abortion. Not because we don't believe in making an informed decision. Not because we don't believe in making an informed decision. It is important to be well informed. It is important to be well informed. But that is not what this clinic has to offer. These same political forces these same political forces are doing everything they can are doing everything they can to smash local, state, and federal budgets to smash local, state, and federal budgets for services like child care for services like child care food stamps food stamps with benefits with benefits and public housing. Our mothers fought hard our mothers fought hard to get where we are now and I'm here today and to I'm talk directly to talk directly to talk directly to this military recruitment center. Last year alone, last year alone, three thousand sexual assaults, three thousand sexual assaults were reported, were reported from women in the military, from women in the military against men in their units, against men in their units. And that a percentage and that's only a percentage of the actual sexual assault that doesn't even address that doesn't even address the tens of millions of families the tens of millions of families that were displaced in Iraq Afghanistan and all over the world that were displaced in Iraq Afghanistan and all over the world because of illegal US intervention we're here today and we're here today to say that women's rights from here, from here, across the world, across the world, and how many more mothers will have to grieve the loss of a loved one at the hands of police brutality? How many more crimes of violence against women will the police turn a deaf ear to? But the reality is, as the police act in the interest of the rich, they don't care about women's rights, they don't care about poor working people, 